Alaska native diagnosed with anorexia. Her name was Anna Weston. And nearly 17 years ago, Anna died after her insurance company said that she was not eligible for coverage. Her family now devotes their lives to help saving others. Iris Perez joining us from the newsroom to explain what happened. Iris? Well, Kelsey, data shows that one in five eating disorder specialists believe insurance companies are indirectly responsible for the death of at least one of their patients. But on December 7th, the Anna Weston Act passed in the Senate. President Obama has since signed the bill which honors Anna's life by helping save others. We did it. Woohoo! Her fight over the past 16 years has been the furthest thing from a piece of cake. It's a good knife. But Sunday, Kitty Weston slices into the very thing an Anna Weston House resident wants over the milestone. She said, Kitty, when we pass the Anna Weston Act, can we celebrate with cake? <laughs> there so, we are. We're celebrating okay. with cake. The Anna Weston Act, named to honor Kitty's daughter, was signed into law on December 13th. It's certainly a sense of accomplishment. So families will no longer have to suffer like Kitty has since the year 2000, when anorexia claimed her daughter's life when she was only 21. There was no residential treatment, which is what Anna needed, anywhere in Minnesota. Back then, insurance companies didn't consider anorexia a real disease. We're terribly grateful to the senator and her staff for championing this work. Senator Amy Klobuchar, a key player behind the Anna Weston Act. At least 14.5 million people nationally have some kind of eating disorder, whether it's anorexia or bulimia. In Minnesota alone, at least 200,000 people suffer from an eating disorder, but now those who need care will have inpatient and residential treatment covered by insurance. Expanded training for healthcare professionals and people will be more involved in helping them, and that's as just as important as getting the insurance coverage. Finally, Anna's voice has been heard. All it took to get here for Kitty isn't just the icing, it's the cake. I would do anything to bring her back, but I can't do that. So knowing that the passage of this bill and creating the Santa Weston House, that lives are being saved, it eases that pain. 30 million people experience an eating disorder in their lifetimes. That's according to the Eating Disorders Coalition, which also reports anorexia has the highest mortality rate of all mental disorders. The Anna Weston Act could change all of this for the better. Live in the newsroom, I'm Iris Perez, Fox 9.